This is The Tough Hub, a show brought to you by Tough Africa Global to educate you on real estate matters, to mentor you and inspire you. After 48 years of working and also traveling all over the world, I am ready to share my experience with you, especially those young ones who follow me for inspiration. In solidarity with all the strong and resilient women during Pink October, a month dedicated to breast cancer awareness, I want to share my own journey as a survivor of prostate cancer 15 years ago. It is crucial that we stand together and acknowledge that prostate cancer affects men just as much as breast cancer affects women. Let us not forget that both genders face their own battles with cancer and it is essential for men to be aware, proactive, and supportive. By spreading awareness and understanding, we can contribute to the well-being of all individuals impacted by cancer. Together, let's create a world where no one fights cancer alone. Thank you. For the, for, the, for the bicycle lane and also for the walkway. Yeah, so we'll compact it. It's better to compact now with subsand than yes. compact it with the lateral. Yes. I think we can start the paper, Yeah, yeah, that's what. No, no need to plaster. No need to plaster. Let, let's do this now quickly, all this. The only thing is we need to now agree when these guys come, like the water pipes, okay. where they are going. Okay. And I think probably it's better if we put it next to the drain. It's a city and not, not, an, not an estate, so therefore, in a city, you're going to have uh, 10 different estates within the city. And every, est every estate within has been given a name. And those I can remember of head, what I did was to make sure that it's very Gambian and everybody takes ownership. We took the ethnic, different ethnic groups and each of the estate is named numerically by the language itself. For example, the first is called Benna. Benna is one. The second estate is called Didi, as in Fula, it's two. And then the third estate is called Saba, as in three. And the list goes on. I mean, all the ethnic, local ethnic groups, you know, are given to be name of an estate. Again, because it's a live, walk and play, we're gonna have sporting facilities, football pitches, you know, tennis courts. Then on work, we're gonna have workshops. You know, workshops, we're going to have um, uh, um, 
greenhouses so that we can cultivate certain vegetables uh, you know, throughout the year. Also aquaculture, because we are just by the Alhayan River. So we're going to do aquaculture, so you can, you can farm your own fish. As we all know, <laughs> we're running out of fish in the ocean, one way or the other. So we need to farm our own fish, and that's going to happen here. We're going to grow a lot of fruit trees, you know, quite a lot. So basically, when you leave here, everything that you want in your life you should find here. Services, you know, we're going to power the place hybrid, meaning both Nawek and also um, uh, solar. So we want to have a solar farm here, you know, so people, and then also because of the smart city, we're going to have a high speed internet. What our wish is that throughout the city, you should have free internet connection, you know, fast. This is what is happening around the world in the advanced area. And my question to myself is that why not Gambia? Why not Gambia? And inshallah, it will be done. And for that reason, I say, Gambia dafa adem diakuya. Gap City is an important part of our goal to deliver 1 million homes in Sub-Saharan Africa between 2018 and 2038. We have realized that the housing deficit in Africa cannot be solved by just developing housing estates. And as such, the development of cities and micro cities in the different regions, states, and countries would better alleviate the problem of mass affordable housing delivery. Mr. President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Tough City is the biggest in Africa being fully developed by one private developer, namely Tough Africa Global, which is registered in eight African countries. In this regard, the successful launching of the Gambia project can only build confidence with other governments in scaling up and repeating the development in their respective countries. Mr. President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to announce the setting up of a technical training institute under the Taft Africa Foundation to train youths on much needed skills in support of housing development and to support the implementation of the National Development Plan with particular emphasis on youth unemployment. In this regard, our aim is to partner with government in responding to the growing housing and infrastructure needs of this nation, which today has a youth population in excess of 60% of the total population. We by no means underestimate the value of such commitment and support and for that Mr. President I want on my own behalf and on behalf of Tap Africa Global to thank you for your support including your presence here today. My thanks to my very supportive family particularly my wife who is always by my side. As Nelson Mandela said it always seems impossible until it's done. At Tough Africa Global, we thrive on challenges and following our dreams. We look forward to welcoming you all as residents of Tough City in the very near future. Thank you. Laying the foundation stone for Tough City.
affords me the opportunity to demonstrate solidarity with a key partner and contributor to development. I will congratulate Alahaji Mustafa Njai. From the time I came to know Mustafa Njai in 1991, it is today 30 years. Who would have thought Mustafa Njai will invite me today as President of the Republic to launch Tough City? <laughs> Mr. Mustafa Nyai, thank you very much for the invitation. Distinguished guests, the Tough City Initiative is a laudable venture. It will contribute to the realization of the right to shelter, which is also one of the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. Tough Africa Global intends to provide an integrated scheme that responds to healthy lifestyles in an environment which is safe, able to provide shelter and has space for agri-business. I have noted that Tough City intends to create opportunities where homeowners will engage in different aspects of agriculture to grow what they eat and assist in lowering the cost of importation of food products through intensive farming. This will certainly boost our economy and attract foreign exchange, as any excess made will be for the open market and exportation. We are confident that once realized, Tough City will be a fabulous signature and landmark project that will improve the quality of life or living standards of its residents. It is through such unique initiatives that we can transform our landscape and grow our economy. I am bound to congratulate Tough Africa Global and its partners on these great initiatives. Congratulations to you all. In conclusion, to formally mark the commencement of this two-year project, I invite you to join me to lay the foundation stone for the construction of Tough City. May God bless our efforts. Long live the Gambia. Forward ever, backward never. Thank you. You're welcome. So, uh, thank you so much and um, welcome to your new home. Thank you. So, that's your key, that right there. Yeah? So, we're happy uh, to welcome you to Tar City. And we're so proud of you to be the first resident in here. So, you are a female Alcado. We want to give you a, a special gift. And that is that we're going to give you free utility services and charges for one whole year. Wow. As the first mover, that's what we're doing. Thank 
Thank you so, so much. So this includes electricity, water supply, garbage collection, security. Everything will be paid by Tough Africa Global as our first resident. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Good afternoon to Mr. Mustafa Njai, CEO, Ms. Yabajin Njai, General Manager, TAF Africa Global staff, family, friends, and community. Thank you so much for this wonderful reception. It is indeed an honor and privilege to stand along with you on this beautiful Monday, the 19th day of September in the year 2022, as we celebrate the completion of your first house, also known as my home here in Taft City, the Gambia, West Africa. You have all done an exceptional job thus far in bringing Mr. Mustafa Njai's vision of the Gambia's first smart city into reality. As the city's first resident, I want to take this moment to express my gratitude to the many persons who have helped me along the way. I want to say thank you to my mother who has been cheering me on in this journey from afar via our weekly video updates. Hi, Mommy. Thank you to my brother, nephew, other family members, and friends for your encouragement. Thank you to Mr. Njai for conceptualizing this entire affair and for being steadfast in his commitment to his quest to build sustainable communities across the Pan-African world. Thank you to the various members of the sales team at TAF Africa Global, Maya Muna, Amy, Cissé, Pamadou, Fatima, Binta, Musa, everyone, I see you. To the many, many hands-on workers, builders, architects, designers, plumbers, electricians, brick makers and layers, gardeners and painters, thank you for a job well done. Thank you to the project managers and engineers like Usman, Glad, Samson, Keba, Dixon, Kunli, and Miss Nene. Thank you to the media team led by Miss Anita C for documenting Mr. Njai's vision, and thank you to the many, many more persons too numerous to mention. I thank God and my ancestors for working out all the kinks in the road and clearing the way to make this day possible. Most of all, I want to thank the number one sales rep in my book at TAF Africa Global, Mr. Momudu Njai, for his never give up spirit. He guided me through the entire process and made the journey a pleasurable one. Once again, I am honored to be your first resident at Taft City and I encourage my fellow people of the continent and the diaspora to become a part of the growing communities being built here in the Gambia, West Africa. Finally, I sincerely thank each and every one of you for the role you played in getting me here. Jerejef Abaraka, thank you and God bless.
recording my name. Yes. Room or the smallest? Uh, seven. You find it difficult to fit it. You couldn't go beyond seven. What do you say? Lee? If it's a road, it's going to open. Why so why this thing? Yep. Put that for one size. What size is that? We're going to use this space here now, about 1.5 hectares, to do our trials. But basically, it just fit in the market. I mean, they can supply, there's a demand in the local market now. the machine so okay. where we have issues though they started picking on the quality so we had to stop it yes, yes. so now we're the only ones doing it ah, that's why some of them okay. you know the quality went wrong we have over 150 gambians already employed here paid a minimum of ten thousand dollars which is really very good you know so we want to thank mr jai for this wonderful initiative i was with him um, at the beginning of March, in Sierra Leone, I mean, we, we bumped into each other in a hotel where he's building about 500 housing units. So 5,000 housing units in Sierra Leone. Sierra Leoneans are really proud to have a brother from Africa, from West Africa, from the Gambia, who has taken the risk to invest in, in, in their country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been talking to them also. Where's yeah. my bag? Oh, Why, um... it's ready. Okay. Yes, we go. <laughs> Hi, welcome. How you doing? Happy. How you doing? You know, within 15 minutes. So let me just take you through the master plan. I mean, you drove out from here, from Gunjur. Gunjur okay. is one of the big towns. It's a fishing village, a fishing, a fishing town. So um, I decided to start from here. We've done something big in Nigeria, but it's not this big. We've successfully delivered over 1,200 units in Port Harcourt. And that's fully built, developed, and you know, people are living there.
It's Pink October, a month dedicated to breast cancer awareness. Together, let us spread the knowledge, encourage early detection, and support those battling this disease. With awareness and compassion, we can make a lasting impact in the fight against breast cancer. Assalamu alaikum, Swambo Kijiye. We are Bill Neka, Moiweri Cancer. Cancer, breast cancer, motor, sah nyujo. Nous sommes tous les Nous nous sommes tous les je suis un homme qui a été de faire de As women, we must prioritize breast cancer screenings every two years. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Paint together, stronger forever. Thank you for watching the Tough Hub. Until we come your way on our next episode, subscribe, like, and share.